Our oceans are home to many large, magnificent animals, and they're also home to the largest animal this planet has ever known. It's only natural to want to focus on the largest, deadliest, and fastest creatures, but our oceans are also home to plenty of incredible creatures that go under the radar. In today's video, I will be looking at some marine fish that are the largest members of their family, and I've chosen some of the most colourful and diverse fish families out there. Without further ado, we can get into our first fish family, and this family is the triggerfish family. There are around 40 species of brightly coloured triggerfish in the triggerfish family, and they inhabit tropical and subtropical oceans around the world. The majority of these species can be found in the Indo-Pacific, and they're most commonly found in relatively shallow coastal habitats. Unlike some other animals that are named after what they eat or what they do, triggerfish are named after a particular body part. Triggerfish get their name from the spines on their dorsal fins, and these spines can be used for both predator defence and anchoring. When erect, the first spine is very hard to push down, but if you push down the second spine, the first spine will follow. The second spine essentially triggers the first, which is how they got their name of triggerfish. There are many beautiful members of the triggerfish family, such as the orange-lined triggerfish, the pink-tailed triggerfish, the red-toothed triggerfish, the yellow-faced triggerfish, and the lagoon triggerfish. As these species are so beautiful, they're sometimes kept in aquariums, but really they're not the best aquarium fish. They're known for being relatively mean and aggressive, and they have the weaponry to do some serious damage. Triggerfish are armed with very strong and durable teeth, and these teeth help them to crush their prey. They mostly feed on slow-moving crustaceans, mollusks, and sea urchins, but some members of this family feed on algae and plankton. Some triggerfish are known for being quite friendly and inquisitive, and this is because they have a high level of intelligence for a fish. They come up with different ways to get at their prey, and they're even known to have the ability to learn from previous experiences. In the triggerfish family, there is one genus that really stands out. That's because this genus contains one of the most sought-after aquarium fish in the world, and it also contains one of the largest triggerfish in the world. The titan triggerfish is most commonly found in lagoons and along reefs, and in these areas it has little to fear. They play a very important role in their ecosystem by controlling the number of sea urchins and crustaceans, and they only really have to look out for sharks and humans. In some cases, titan triggerfish can be aggressive towards humans, and because their jaws and teeth are so strong, a bite can be quite painful. This species is definitely one of the most iconic triggerfish out there, and many people believe it to be the largest. It can reach a maximum length of around 80 centimeters, and it can weigh in at around 5.3 kilograms. Strangely, this colossal size is only fit for the title of second largest triggerfish in the world, and the largest triggerfish is a bit more elusive. The stone triggerfish is found along the reefs of the eastern Pacific, and this species is undeniably the largest triggerfish in the world. Like many other triggerfish species, it has a very meaty diet, and this diet helps it to reach some pretty impressive sizes. It has a maximum length of around a meter, and I couldn't find a reliable source for its weight, but judging by the weight of the titan triggerfish, it probably has a maximum weight of around 6 to 8 kilograms. This size truly makes it the king of these strange brightly coloured fish, and I'm sure you wouldn't want to be bitten by one. The next fish family we will be taking a look at is the seahorse, pipefish, and sea dragon family. As you might be able to guess, this family is split into three different groups, but these three groups are very similar to each other, and the majority of them are found in the same habitat and they feed on the same foods. The seahorses are possibly the most famous group of animals in this family, and there are around 46 species of them. They're mostly found around seagrass beds, coral reefs, and mangroves, and as they aren't very good swimmers, these habitats offer them the protection that they need. Some of the smallest seahorses are the pygmy seahorses, and these seahorses, like many other seahorses, rely heavily on camouflage. The largest seahorse species is the big belly seahorse, and this species can reach a maximum length of around 35 centimeters. The pipe fishes have a very similar head shape to the seahorses, and they almost look like straight bodied seahorses with tiny mouths. The pipefishes are the most diverse group of animals in this family, and there are around 225 species. Just like the seahorses, they are masters of disguise, and they like to mimic algae, seaweed, and even coral. Just like many other members of their family, pipefishes mostly feed on tiny crustaceans, and their camouflage helps them to get very close to them without them noticing. 
The largest member of the pipefish family is the greater pipefish, and this species can reach a maximum length of around 47 centimeters. This size definitely makes them one of the largest members of this family, but there is one group of animals in this family that we haven't taken a look at yet. The sea dragons are perhaps the most beautiful members of this family, and there are a few different species. These species have very intricate designs, and their appendages help them to blend in with their environment. It could be right in front of you and you wouldn't notice, as the sea dragon's forms of camouflage and mimicry are some of the best in the ocean. They move around their habitats almost lifelessly, and they pick off tiny creatures as they go. The sea dragons share many traits and behaviours with other members of their family, such as the males looking after the eggs. Even though the leafy sea dragon may be the most striking sea dragon species, it is not the largest. That title goes to the common sea dragon, and even though this species is not as long as the greater pipefish with a maximum length of around 45 centimeters, it has a much bulkier body with a heavier frame. This size not only makes it the largest sea dragon in the world, but it's also the largest member of its family, and it's a very well adapted crustacean hunter. The final fish family we will be taking a look at is the parrotfish family. For some people, the parrotfish's inclusion on this list may be quite controversial, because although this group of fish is traditionally regarded as a family, they are often treated as a subfamily or tribe of wrasses. For the sake of this video, I'm going to treat them as a family, and there are around 95 species in this family. The majority of these species can be found in the Indo-Pacific, and they're usually found along coral reefs, rocky coasts, and seagrass beds. The majority of parrotfish species are herbivores and feed on algae, but some are known to feed on plankton, detritus, coral polyps, and coral itself. To get at these foods, parrotfish have very strong teeth, and they can have up to 15 rows of them. In some cases, they can look almost like a mosaic, and others say that it makes their mouth look like a beak, which is how they got their name. Even though some parrotfish grow very large, they're still not safe from predators. To try and protect themselves from nocturnal predators, some parrotfish species create mucus sleeping bags. This masks their scent from predators such as sharks, and it also keeps them safe from annoying parasites. Most parrotfish species are sequential hermaphrodites, and this means that they start their lives as females, and eventually transition into males. Of course, this ability is not unique to parrotfish as there are other fish families that can do the same, but it's very impressive nonetheless. The largest parrotfish species is also one of the most famous parrotfish species, and it is the green humphead parrotfish. This fish contributes significantly to the bioerosion of reefs, and this is mostly by chomping down on them. Of course, what goes in must come out. And this species, just like many other parrotfish, has the ability to turn coral into sand. This species is not only the largest parrotfish in the world, but it's also the largest fish in this video, as it reaches a maximum length of around 1.5 meters, and it can weigh in at a whopping 75 kilograms. So what this fish lacks in looks, it makes up for in size, and I'm sure if it wanted to, it could take your finger off. If you want me to include another fish family in a video such as this, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.